Okay, this one is, am I the astronaut for not letting my sister-in-law add my kids to the chore list? That's right, that was sister-in-law and OP's kids to a chore list. My sister-in-law lives in a fairly large six-bedroom farmhouse on 10 acres. We're building a home across the street, and in the meantime, we have a camper parked on sister-in-law's property. The only time we go into her house is to use the bathroom or shower. We have electricity in the camper, but no running water. The rest of the time, we are across the street building, and our kids, 14 male, 12 female, 8 male, are a are with us helping. We pay sister-in-law $180 a week to park our camper there, which is campground prices. Late afternoon yesterday, my sister-in-law asked us to all come inside to talk, and she pulls up her chore list with my kids' names added to it. Things like laundry, dishes, cleaning the living room, sweeping, mopping, cleaning table, plus countertops, garbage, returnables, even helping cook meals. We do not eat with them. She says, does this work for you? I won't let anyone clean the bathroom because I'm the only one who does it properly. Properly, and I immediately said no. My kids don't even go into her house unless they are showering or shedding, so if anything, I'd make them clean the bathroom, not the rest of the house that they don't use. I'm not going to be making them do chores to that extent for simply using the bathroom after they've been helping us all day with building our home. My sister-in-law, who works all the time, says the kids are in here much more than that because all my snacks are gone, and I always come home to a trashed house, and I didn't before you guys started staying here. She's clearly not putting two and two together with the fact that her own own daughter, 12, has had consistent friends over the past two weeks since school let out, and her husband, 46 male, does nothing to parent, which I brought to her attention. My kids don't eat her food at all, either. I've made a point to preach to my kids about minimizing our footprint here for this specific reason, her trying to blame my kids for her trashed house. My husband is saying that maybe I should just allow her to add the kids to one or two chores per week to keep his sister at bay, but I've refused. We pay to be here, and we do not go indoors at all unless it's for the bathroom, as I've stated. My kids are not going to be scrubbing her house top to bottom for using a restroom, and I have since told my husband we need to create an outhouse system on our property so we don't have to go in there at all. He says I'm making things more difficult when in reality I'm protecting my kids from being used. Am I the asshole? Woo! For the amount that they're using here, and I mean, ideally if they had a camper, it would be great if they had one that had, you know, a shower or the outdoor shower um, or had a generator or solar power or something, so they didn't have to use anything there. But why the F are they building a house across the street? If you already know bullshit like this exists with this person, why? And the bloody F, would you want to live across the street from this person? This isn't the end of it, but that's context that I think you have to look at and say, uh, if I'm going to be living across the street for, from this person for a long time, is this my hill to die on? Now, I get protecting the kids, and I get not allowing them to do her chores and be put to work by her to clean her damn house when they don't do anything there. But I would be thinking, we're about to be living across the street from this person, and it's either going to be hell or it's going to be okay. Now, I'm not going to let her take advantage of my kids, but I can make some kind of offer. I can counter somehow and say, oh, hell no, we're not going to be doing that. But we would do this, and we would do it together, and it would be something small. It doesn't have to be them doing a hell of a lot of chores. It doesn't have to be doing something that they have nothing to do with, but it could be something as an olive branch. And I'm not saying this to be the bigger person. I'm not saying this because her kids should be doing something. I'm saying it because they're going to be living right across the street from them. And it's either going to be constant drama or it's going to be okay. And this could be a contributing factor to it. Maybe the property is a family property, but this doesn't change the fact that they're going to be living across from them and it's going to be unavoidable. Unavoidable. But I'd say if you know that you have issues with the person, even if it is family land, don't move in across the effing street. If somebody's paying you to stay there, they don't get chores. Yeah, you can't assign them chores if they're paying you rent. I don't think it works like that. It's one or the other. Welcome to the neighborhood, because now you're going to live across the street from them. This is going to suck. Neighborhood parties are going to be just a shit show. Fourth of July, you're going to be pointing fireworks at each other. Like, it's not, this is not going to be healthy for anybody. But I think you do have to think about the long term. You have to think about, okay, yes, this is the stance I take on this. How, what's the ripple effect from that going to be? And is this going to just fuel an intolerable person to feud with me forever? Or is it isolated? 